Hello there YouTube, my name is The Broken Machine and you are watching episode 6 of How to Become a Better Teammate. Today I'm going to be discussing a technique that requires at least two players. One is going to act as a bait and the other is going to be taking a strategic position that they can use to overlook the objectives. In this game we're managing to easily plant the MCOMs but we just don't have that necessary backup from the rest of our team and as soon as we're taken out the enemy defuses the MCOMs. So I say to my teammate, this clearly isn't working, let's try using a bait, I'll take up a position on the roof overlooking the MCOM, you're going to act as a bait, plant the objective and I'll take down anyone who tries to disarm. For this technique to work, you should only be engaging with enemies when necessary. If I had fired before the MCOM had been planted, the key position on the roof could have been lost and taken by the enemy team. As soon as the MCOM is armed, go loud and take down any enemies as fast as you can. Not only has this technique given us an easy takedown, but it has also allowed the weaker members of our team to make an easy push on the other MCOM. From this position, I can easily drop in, provide support and help defend that objective and win the game. You don't have to be on higher ground for this technique to work. Just simply be in a position that allows you to see the objective while still remaining hidden from view. It could be a wall right next to the MCOMs where you simply keep poking your head around to check the MCOM isn't being disarmed, even a bush where you can't be seen, or even right next to the MCOM as seen here. The one who plants doesn't necessarily have to be the bait of course. Take this clip for example. We drop late into a game on Death Valley, normally a map where the attackers don't have much of a problem, but clearly our team here weren't very strong, we've only got a few tickets left, and so I tell my teammate, I'll plan, you'll act as a bait and distract the enemies away from me, then I'll wait in the top of the double stack, drop C4 and take the objective. Once again, I'm right next to the MCOM but in a position that perhaps may be unexpected. The position that you take doesn't always have to be stealthy in any way, it could be a temporary position, perhaps switching between two different points, anywhere. It just has to be useful long enough for you to help defend once the MCOM is planted. This technique could also be used in conquest. You can have one player tripping the flag while the other waits for any enemies to give away their positions. The one who acts as a bait doesn't have to be a friend, it could be any random player. For example, if you see someone on your team heading to the MCOMs, then support them and take up a strategic position if you can. That's all for today. I hope this technique proves useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.